Matthew back with the Huddle House and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a crock pot chili. I'm going to be using the black beans that I had done yesterday. We had a pint that didn't seal and sometimes that happens, a lot of different reasons why, but I just thought it would be a good opportunity to use it up and show you one of the ways that we like to make chili and that is in the crock pot, especially when you have other things that you need to do outside. I mean, you could cook it on the stovetop, we do that too. But if you have other things that you need to get done, just throw it all and basically that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna dump it all in the crock pot and let it simmer away. So what I have now um, going is in a skillet, I just have um, a pound, I think this is a pound and a half of uh, ground beef and I have an onion uh, here that I chopped up. Now this beef is uh, half Angus, half uh, Holstein dairy cow uh, that my in-laws raised for us and we uh, had it butchered. A friend of ours from church butchered it up for us. So we're going to get started now just by um, browning this up with the onions and then we're going to uh, drain the grease off of it and actually I'm probably going to wash uh, the fat off of it just so it's a little bit healthier um, to fit into a Trim Healthy Mama kind of e-setting meal. Okay, so when this is all browned up and in the crock pot, I'll get back to you. So making chili is not a, um, a science. You can just throw things together and that's what I'm going to be doing. So in the bowl here, I have my ground beef uh, and onion that I washed. And to wash that, all I did was put it in a colander and put a bowl underneath of it and I drained it and then I washed it, I rinsed it with hot water to get some of that extra fats off of it. Next, I'm gonna add a bell pepper, which I'm glad to say that was from the garden. I'm actually proud to say most of this stuff is from, from our area here. Um, I have a jar of kidney beans that we canned last year that I just drained. Always makes a wonderful noise. Next, I'm going to put the black beans that we canned, you saw in the video yesterday, that didn't seal. So we're just going to put those in. I have a quart of tomatoes here that we canned. And these are just chunk tomatoes. And so this is just a quart. You could use any tomatoes that you want. You could use tomato juice if you really wanted to use that. Then I have um, garlic. This stuff here works in a pinch. You know, the prepared stuff. Fresh is always better. I hope to raise garlic someday. I'm just going to put a uh, maybe two teaspoons in. Salt and pepper to taste. I think there's a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper there. Uh, I'm going to be using, because I'm trying to make this a little bit more healthy, I'm going to be using the Pure um, Organic. This is a Stevia blend. I'm going to use a teaspoon of that because it's pretty potent. Typically, if I wasn't trying to be healthy, I would just use a little bit of brown sugar, probably a tablespoon of brown sugar. Next, I'm going to use some chili powder, and um, this is two tablespoons of chili powder. My wife and I tried to uh, be frugal once, and we bought some chili powder from a discount grocery store. It said chili powder on it. We made fajitas that uses a lot of chili powder, and we are certain it was cayenne. Boy, it lit us up. And so, actually, we... We couldn't even eat the fajitas that we made, so we always want to be sure we check our uh, chili powder, especially when we get it from like a discount grocery store like we did this one, but this one is fine. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is just a tablespoon of cumin. And I really like cumin. Now, you guys could um, mix this up to whatever you want to put in it, however you like it, add more or less of things. Um, if you want it to just use one of the chili packs. And I'm just going to stir this up here. 
You could use one of those uh, chili packs that you can, you know, find at Aldi or Walmart. That's only like, you know, 39 cents. So I'm going to stir this up real good. And then we are just going to um, put the lid on. And I'm going to set this to high uh, because it's uh, after noon time. But you could um, do this for like lunch um, or uh, maybe you're going to church and you want to make chili for lunch. Just put this in on your way to church and put it on high. Or maybe you're going to work. Put this all together um, in the crock pot in the morning and just turn it on low and let it simmer. One of our th favorite things to do is go for a golf cart ride and ride around a block. There's a block that we have here. Um, it kind of gets us out of the house and gets the kids out of the house. Um, so every once in a while, that's what we'll do for fun. So you can see here, our chili is done. Really nice and hot and steamy there. See all those beans done? So with this, uh, you can put sour cream, cheddar cheese, tortilla chips, Fritos, whatever you'd like in there. Uh, if we're being a little bit more health conscious, we'll just do some non-fat Greek yogurt um, that we have over here. The table's already set with the boys. The boys is, are having um, grilled cheese sandwiches with theirs tonight. Um, I really like cornbread with mine. Um, they have ice cubes in their bowls so that it will ice <laughs> cool down so they don't burn themselves when they're eating it. And then uh, here you can see we have Landon's, Landon's learning um, a Bible verse for school he has to memorize psalm 139 and so we have that under the plastic so that we can review it when we're sitting at the table we can go over it with them so what do you guys like with your uh, chili soup do you like cornbread do you like fritos do you like peanut butter sandwiches comment below